Hey guys, Thunderstud here. Sorry, I'm way over here. And today we are using Sylvans. Now, Rose Lover has been removed from the ban list, guys. She's been on the ban list for so, so long since Sylvans were meta. They were top tier, believe it or not. And now she's off the ban list. What does that mean? Doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna toss just three Rose Lovers right into the deck. It means we get to use the two limit. It's been so long since we got to use the two limit. What are we gonna use? Do we wanna use Hatronade? Do we wanna use Treacherous Trap Hole? No, we're gonna use Econ, one of the oldest limited cards there is. We're using it with Sylvans. Makes it just absolutely crazy, guys. I like it a little better than Hatronade because we have things like Komush and our Rose Lover that are protecting us from some back row, so we're not as scared. And I don't really want to use Treacherous because we do have means to remove monsters. So <coughs> the utility that enemy controller gives us is just too, too good, guys. It, it, I'm telling you, single-handedly wins duels. Just makes a difference in any situation having that econ take. And when you pair it with a deck like this that has things like Glow of Bulb, and things like Rose Lover, things like Carrot, things like Spore, all these things that want to be in the graveyard, that give you extra summons. Once you use an enemy controller, turn them into an enemy monster and then use that to start your combos. It is just so crippling, guys. Enemy controller, such an amazing card. So uh, other than that, it's virtually the same. I just took out two Raging Man plants, added two Econs. We did keep one Raging Man plants because it's just too crazy, crazy strong. But everything else is the same. Vermilion, Scrap, Rose, Bryonic, Heratic, and of course, the Sylvan Princess Sprite herself makes us use Peacekeeper. Lovely use for all our other level 1 plants. I love this deck, guys, and trust me, Econ makes a huge impact. It might seem like nothing. You might be like, okay, what kind of impact is that if you just replace two Raging Man plants with two Econs? You could just have the Raging Man plants. No, Econ is so, so good, guys. You'll see in the replays, so I hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing an Akiza. Looks like he's going first. I don't know, though that was in another language. Now we are in Turbo Duels, but you will never see me use a Turbo Duel skill. Never draw, never gain attack, I'll never do whatever. Not gonna do any of that, so it's just a pure advantage to our opponent. Here he's running Luna Lights. We bring out a carrot weight, swing at him. We do have our enemy controller, guys. Enemy controller makes all the difference. So now he's gonna go for an XZ summon to a Malevolent Sin. We're gonna Econ take. So enemy controller already stepping up. We stop his turn. We have our carrot weight in the grave to get us started. Now carrot weight's gonna throw away Rose Lover. So it's an ultimate form of disruption. And it gets our combo started, because here comes the Rose Lover now. Guardi Oak, we hit a Komush, that's gonna be that back row. M-Tree's gonna let us decide the order of our cards going forward. So if we mill anymore, we're gonna know how to do it, or if we're just gonna draw, we're gonna know how to do it. Let's go to Forbidden Lance, our Guardi Oak. That's gonna cause me to Econ take our Carrot to take his Malevolent Sin, tribute over his Malevolent Sin. We know exactly what we're gonna mill. Two Peacekeepers and a Spore, we're gonna bring out the Peacekeeper to bring out a Carrot. It's another 1900 monster, way, way over lethal. Through this one turn, getting it started with an Econ take, making it look easy. Econ is so strong, guys. Great, great stuff. Okay, here's Antinomi. Facing Pro. I don't know what that means. Probably him going first. We're going for a rank up though, virtually every duel is a rank up in this kind of grand tournament. We've got an Econ though, that's always action. Our boy's using uh, Flight Control or Fight Control? Flight Control for uh, TG's, searching the better tuner, throwing away a tuner. Using Drillfish alongside a Screw Serpent, that's going to be his Star Guardian. Star Guardians get a special summon. Or sorry, he gives them the search of the Screw Serpent from the graveyard first. Then you special summon the Screw Serpent. That's good a special summon. The Drill Fish once again. Same old story. Do another X or X's. Do another Synchro. Now he can't continue the chain because that's part of the skill. You can't summon your bigger, bigger monsters. But he can do it during my main phase. 
So that'll allow him to do stuff like this, which will be dodge my first Martial Leaf, aiming at his Guardian. But like I said, Guardian will let you do an immediate Synchro in your opponent's main phase. He's got a uh, Blade Blaster. Now you can't target Blade Blaster with spells or traps. So we can't hit him with an old-fashioned Econ take. He does get our Raging Man Plants, which is annoying as well. Sets another back row. Plays another monster. Now we can't Econ take this boy, but we can Econ take this boy. So he has to destroy his own Rush Rhino. Rush Rhino does give him a search at the end, though. He searches the Cyber Magician, which is an interesting choice considering you don't have anything else in your hand. So here, we're going the Miracle Peacekeepers. Mill that one glow up bulb. Here comes that glow up bulb. That's our sprite princess, guys. Glow up bulb and peacekeepers go together so nice. Here's our princess sprite. She's gonna detach one. Mill one is the econ, we'll take that. Now she's going to summon the Guardi Oak. Guardi Oak's gonna hit him fat with three milled. We get a rose lover. We haven't used her yet. We get two rose lovers. Oh mush! Back row's gone. There's a drowning mirror force. Now we're gonna bring out Spore. 3 plus 6 is 9, guys. Vermilion Dragon Mech. Are you gonna destroy this blaster? Now Econ Take is live. Now we Rose Lover for him. Tree. Look at this insane turn, guys. No Komush to draw a Peacekeeper. Set an Econ Take as if we needed it. But of course we don't as we hit him for lethal. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a Yusei. Oh, I didn't catch what we were doing. I think he goes first. Yep, so here we got our Rose Lover, Rage Man Plants, Martial Leaf, and a Spore. Not the greatest hand this deck is able to pump out. But we'll see where it goes. We have a Sage. And a back row, pretty classic Blue Eyes play there. He's using 5,000 life points. We get a normal summoner, Martial Leaf. We get a Carrot Weight and a Cold Mushroom. Perfect, perfect. We're gonna force that back row. It is a Karma Cut. Throws away a Stone of Ancient. Now we're going to use our Care Weight. Throw away the Rose Lover. Now I'm gonna use the Rose Lover on a Peacekeeper. Are you crazy? When he special summons, he mills one more though. And look at that. My bold move pays off. We mill a Martial Leaf to special summon our Glow Up Bulb. That's two level one monsters for the XCs of the lovely Sylvan Princess Sprite. Really does wonders for this deck. We detach the Peacekeeper. Mill a Martial Leaf, didn't really need to, but imagine that was a Blue Eyes, we still would have hit him. And then we use her second effect to special summon our Martial Leaf. And he's just done for with 3k, 3k, Raging Man Plants, more than enough damage over his 5k. Great, great stuff, right? All right, here we are facing a Yusei. Uh, it looks like we're going first for once. And look at our perfect boy to go first with. We set our Komushrumo. He's ready to party. He'll mill five. Just insane. Where you're facing heroes. He's gonna do a whole lot of stuff by searching affairs. Special summon. Ton of monsters. And then eventually lead into the Trinity. Now, Komashumo is pretty good in that he's got 2k defense, so he's gonna need to use his uh, Trinity to bust it. So no matter what else he has, Trinity has to be the one to bust it, even with a field full of monsters still. So he uses Old Fashioned Poly, he's got that ties up bind, so that's a significant amount of damage. Now he flips up the Komashumo. To mill five guys. It mills a peacekeeper. That's already more protection, but it's just gonna be eaten up by Trinity, Komushumo, and a Rose Lover. So it could have gone better. We didn't get any martial leaves, but Peacekeeper is gonna try a little harder. Mill one more. It's just a blow up bowl. That's still a pretty good one. Trinity is able to destroy. He could just he could swing in three monsters potentially. So we are gonna take the full damage from these extra monsters. We're down to 600 life points. We use a blow up bowl. Mills a Peacekeeper. Now we're gonna tribute over that Glow Bowl for Guardi Oak. Now our Martial Leaves have to be somewhere. There's one. Get another Peacekeeper. He can use his effect this time. We are gonna use Martial Leaves effect to destroy the Trinity. 
now we're the biggest monster on the field. Peacekeeper's gonna mill one more. He milled another Martial Leaf. They had to be somewhere. We only have six cards left in our deck. Here comes the Rose Lover. What? We Rose Lover out of Rose Lover? Who'd have thought? It's for our Princess Sprite, guys. I love this card so, so much. She'll be able to bring out Hem Tree if she wants. We mill our third Martial Leaf. They all came at once. Didn't really need them. But we're still gonna do it. Throw away the Hem Tree. Bring out the Hem Tree. Draw a card in a spore. Send another hem tree so we know exactly what we're gonna drop with those three cards. He's gonna equip some vision monsters, but they have no means to save our boy from lethal, and we finish him off with our princess. Absolutely love this. This is one of my new favorite cards, guys. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing Antimony. Let's see where we're going. We got a piece, we got a go of bulb. Would have been a pretty good oh I remember this duel. About to show you the power of the Econ take, guys. Econ is so strong. This one little difference makes such a difference for the deck. So our boy's going into our Torgius. That's gonna give him some equips. He's got another equip in Caliburn for him. He's got another equip in Gwenifer for him. That's a 4k monster, guys. We have an Econ take with a bunch of little monsters, so we're gonna set our Glow Bulb. Econ take that 4k monster. Glow Bulb mills a Rose Lover. Rose Lover's gonna bring out Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper's gonna mill another. We hit a Komashumo. We've gotta do our Princess. We're gonna special summon even more. And we had a Deadly Lethal, thanks to our boys. 4k monsters. That's what it's all about guys. Those econ takes are too wild. They break duels. They literally break duels. That's why it's on the limit list. Now that Rose Lover is not limited, we get our full power Sylvan with the two limit pool. Hey True Nade's amazing. It probably wouldn't be as good in this deck. World Legacy Clash is just fine. Treacherous of course is amazing. It's all just really, really great stuff that can make full use in a Sylvan's deck, so uh, I don't think they'll be meta, but they'll probably be one of the best rogue decks out there, a lot like Thunder Dragons. So I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching.